Remember me, O Lord, when I come into your kingdom, as I move through the world, and show the world be with you. Be faithful to your teachings, and never let me be parted from you. Amen. Good morning, and happy Saturday to you. Thank you for taking some time out of your weekend to join us for the daily office for morning prayer here at Calvary Episcopal Church in Uptown Wadesboro, North Carolina. This morning, I offer this service in memory of Tanya Hernandez, who departed this world yesterday afternoon. A reading from Isaiah, the 57th chapter, verse 15. <clears throat> Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place, and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. And this morning, we will continue with the Jubilate. If you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer, we're on page 82. You can also follow along on St. Bede's Breviary Mobile or BCP Online. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this. The Lord himself is God. Him, he himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 55, Exalde Deus. In fact, it's our only psalm this morning, together. Hear my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my petition. Listen to me and answer me. I have no peace because of my ears. I am shaken by the noise of the enemy and by the pressure of the wicked, for they have cast an evil spell upon me and are set against me in fury. My heart quakes within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have overcome me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee to a far-off place and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would hasten to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Swallow them up, O Lord, confound their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen make their rounds about her walls, but trouble and misery are in the midst of her. There is corruption at her heart. Her streets are never free of oppression and deceit. For it had been an adversary who taunted me than I, more than I could have borne it. Or had it been an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then I could have hidden from him. But it was you, a man after my own heart, my companion, my familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the throng to the house of the Lord. Let death come upon them suddenly. Let them go down alive to the grave, for wickedness is in their dwelling, in their very midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me in the evening, in the morning, and at noonday I will complain and lament, and he will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back to the battle waged against me, for there are many who fight me. God, is who, who is enthroned of old, will hear me and bring them down. They never change. They do not fear God. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous stumble. For you will bring the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live out half their days, but I will put my trust in you. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Nehemiah, the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 23. Now when Sanballat heard that we were building the wall, he was angry and greatly enraged, and he mocked the Jews. And he said in the presence of the associates and of the army of Samaria, what are these feeble Jews doing? Will they restore things? Will they sacrifice? Will they finish it in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of rubbish and burn ones at that? Tobiah the Ammonite was beside him and said, That stone wall they are building, any fox going up on it would break it down. Hear, O God, for we are despised. Turn their taunt back on their own heads and give them over as plunder in a land of captivity. Do not cover their guilt. Do not let their sin be blotted out from your sight, for they have hurled incense in the face of the, uh, insults in the face of the builders. So we rebuilt the wall, and the wall was joined together to half its height. For the people had a mind to work. But when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabs and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the repairing of the, the walls of Jerusalem were going forward and the gaps were beginning to be closed, they were very angry and they all plotted to come and fight against Jerusalem and to cause confusion in it. So we prayed to our God and set a guard as protection against them day and night. But Judah said, the strength of the burden bearers is failing, and there is too much rubbish so that we are unable to work on the wall. And our enemy said, they will not know or see anything before we come upon them and kill them and stop the work. When the Jews who lived near them heard them said, they came to us ten times. From all the places where they live, they will come up against us. So in the lower parts of the space behind the wall, in open places, I stationed the people according to their families, with their swords, their spears, and their bows. After I looked these things over, I stood up and said to the nobles and the officials and the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your kin, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. When our enemies heard that their plot was known to us and that God had frustrated it, we all returned to the wall, each to his work. From that day on, half of my servants worked on construction and half held the spears, shields, bows, and body armor, and the leaders posted themselves behind the whole house of Judah who were building the wall. The burden bearers carried their loads in such a way that each labored on the work with one hand and on the other held a weapon, and each of the builders had his sword strapped at his side while he built. The man who sounded the trumpet was beside me, and I said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, the work is great and widely spread out, and we are separated far from one another on the wall. Rally to us wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet. Our God will fight for us. So we labored at the work, and half of them held the spears from the break of dawn until the stars came out. I also said to the people at that time that every man and his servant pass the night inside Jerusalem so that they may be a guard for us by night and labor by day. So neither I nor my brothers nor my servants nor the men of the guard who followed me ever took off our clothes. Each kept his weapon in his right hand. Here ends the reading. It's Saturday, so our canticle, usually, is a song of creation, Benedicite Omne Opera Dei Domini, together. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. For the cosmic order. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky. Glorify the Lord, praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer. Glorify the Lord, praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord, praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O days and nights, O shining light and enfolding dark, 
Storm clouds and thunderbolts glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord, praise Him, and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. A reading from Revelation, the seventh chapter, verses 4 through 17. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 140,000, sealed out of every tribe of the people of Israel, from the tribe of Judah, 12,000 sealed, from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tab, tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. And from the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. From the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 sealed. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hand. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they all fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed? in white, and where have they come from? And I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple, and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to the springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Here ends the reading. Magnet Mirabilia. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body, the forgiveness of sins, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Collect for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now pause here and bring our own needs, intentions, and intercessions before the Almighty and ask for his forgiveness, his indulgence, and in many cases, his mercy. Lord, you're our prayer. <sighs> now prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful October the 30th. Uh, please remember that we will be doing trick-or-treat in Uptown Wadesboro tonight and the churches. Uh, we will be giving out candy here at Calvary on the corner, Father Tim and I, and I think Miss Marcy might join us. We've packed over 600 bags yesterday, so thanks to um, Susan, and thanks to June, and thanks to Carla, Marcy, I was there, thanks to Father Tim, thanks to all who donated candy and brought candy by so that we could do this. It's quite a joy to be uh, a part of this celebration in this great community this time of year. Hopefully next year we will be able to come back strong with our uh, wiener and marshmallow roast that we usually do here on our in our playground area. Watch out for the young ones as they uh, go from door to door, from place to place to get their treats. Pray for them. Pray for them to have a good time in this time of uncertainty. This is a fun thing that we can do to lift them up and let them know that everything is going to be just fine. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. And remember, as always, leave this world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. God bless you. Join us tomorrow morning, Halloween proper, at 11 o'clock for our Mass here at Calvary Episcopal Church in 8 Uptown Wadesboro. Uh, you may... Join us on Facebook, Sermon.net, YouTube, are right here in our church. We do practice social distancing, and you must be masked. And we do have masks if, if you forget yours. Thank you so much. Go forth in peace. Be safe. God bless.